Welcome to Ryan's world! Hey guys, today we're doing the baking soda in vinegar science experiment. But first, pretend this is a volcano. First, you're going to need some baking soda. So we have to put it into the funnel inside your water bottle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, next you're going to put your food coloring into your vinegar, and I choose red. A little bit more. Okay guys, get ready for an explosion! Remember, ask your parents for help. So cool. That was really fun, but I wish it was a volcano. <gasps> huh? Peck? Hi, Peck. Gosh, Ryan, did you know that you can make a volcano out of paper? What? You can? Of course you can. <laughs> I'll go make one for you. Okay. I'm gonna build a Lego robot. It's gonna be my best friend. All I need is the last piece for the head and, oh, it's so cute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh -huh. Peck, what are you doing here? We got a new science experiment for Ryan. It's gonna be a giant volcano. A giant volcano? Well, uh, what do we need for that? First thing we will need is a giant box. A giant box. There's definitely one around here. Let's see. <gasps> oh, over there by Combo. Hey, Combo, pass the big box. Huh? Oh, this box? You got it, Bree. Hiya! I'm a little teacup short. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! This place doesn't seem too familiar. Huh? What's that? Looks like there's a volcano nearby. Let's go investigate. Whoa! This box is huge, and it is going to be the perfect base for our volcano, don't you think, Peck? Peck? Where did Peck go? Oh, well. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is cut this box down. So I finished marking my line. Where we need to cut, it's about four inches high, which I think is gonna be a good height to keep all the lava inside. So now all we need to do is cut. And once we cut the box, it should look like... And there it is! Oh, that is the perfect size for our base. Look how big it is. Now to make sure that our base is good and strong, we're gonna use duct tape. Well, the box looks great, but how do I build a volcano? Incoming! Oh, Peck, there you are. Uh, I just got back from gathering research data. First, we're gonna need these. A bottle and a cup? I think we can use this for the center of our volcano. Precisely. <laughs> so this bottle is gonna be perfect to put all of our ingredients in for the lava, but I think it's a little too short. That's why we have this cup. I think that might be a little too tall. We can work on this. Oh, that is the perfect height. Uh, maybe we should glue it in place. Okay, just a little bit more glue. And I think that should do it. I don't think it's going anywhere. Okay, our bottle's not going anywhere, but we don't need this cap. It doesn't really look like a volcano. We need something. I don't know what. We have to build the body. I know what'll work. Okay. Yeah. Trash? Paper. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. 
So we're making the shape of our volcano. It's kind of a mess right now, so we're gonna use tape to hold all of this together. Now to form the body of the volcano with some tape. More paper. Oh, wow, Peck, you found a lot of paper. This is gonna be perfect. So the first thing that we need to do to start paper mashing this giant volcano is we need to take all of this paper and tear it into pieces that we can actually use. So something about like that. But we're gonna need a lot. This guy is very big, so. Yeah, this ought to do the trick. Rip the paper. Whoa, Peck, great job. This is a lot of paper. What else do we need? Uh, well, to make paper mache, we need paper, which we already have, and then we need a bowl, some water, and the most important part, glue. So this glue is way too thick. So the first thing we're gonna do is add glue, then we're gonna add water and stir it all together to try to thin it out so we can put it on our paper. Now all we do is stir. Or agitate. Agitate, agitate, and when you're done, it should look something like this. Now we're all ready for the fun part. It's gonna be a little messy, so if you're wearing sleeves, roll them up. First, you dunk it in the glue, and then you just clean off all the extra, make sure the paper is good and kind of soft, and then you just whoosh, slap it on the volcano. Slimy. Now the hardest part, we have to wait for this to dry. The volcano will take a while to dry. Let's go wash our hands. Ugh, yeah, I'm very sticky, so we'll meet back here later? Yup, I'm gonna go gather more research. Bye! <gasps> Oosh. One day later. Whoa, it looks so good and it's really dry, let's see. It's definitely hard and sturdy, ready for paint, but where is Peck? Peck? Hi, you free. Peck? Oh yeah. I'm at a real volcano and um, I think we need to use a gray paint. Well, we can definitely make gray, Peck, but just make sure you stay safe, okay? Be careful. Now gray, we don't actually have, but we can make it with black and white. All right, Peck, uh, how do these grays look? Go for it, me. All right, well, it's a big volcano. We're gonna use a big brush. And let's get started. We just finished all of this painting. This volcano is huge, it took forever. Peck, how does it look? It kind of looks just like a mountain. It could use some lava. Some lava? Oh yeah, <laughs> some lava. I'm gonna head back now. It's getting a little hot over here. <laughs> okay, well we'll see you in a bit, Peck. Now I have a great idea for the lava. What better than hot glue? I mean, it kind of looks like lava, right? Maybe? All right, let's see. So we're gonna try to build it up and see if we can get it to look like some big, giant lava trails. Whoa, that looks so cool! Ah. All right, now we're gonna use some orange and some yellow to give this lava some color. Oh, just a little bit more lava paint and oh, I think I hear Peck. Woo hoo hoo! Made a 
just in time. Oh, hi Peck. So we just finished our volcano and what do you think about it? I think our volcano is complete. Looks like the real deal, huh? Looks like the one I saw earlier. Let's teleport it to Ryan. Yay. The last thing we have to do is to get this onto our teleportator potato. So let's just lift this guy up. I'm just kidding, it's paper mache, it's really lightweight. And off to Ryan we go. Goodbye, Volcano. Have fun, Ryan. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, Pat, for this paper volcano. It's so cool. Super cool. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it outside and then I'm going to erupt it. Let's go. First thing, baking soda. Cool. Okay guys, so let's pour in the vinegar. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's so much green. Bye guys, thank you for watching our cool science experiment video with volcanoes. Bye, remember always stay happy and rise up. Bye.